Hello, welcome to this lesson in the Linear Algebra Tutor. We're going to continue working with these uh, transformation matrices. Here we're going to talk about translation. When we talk about translation of something, what it means is you just move the object. You know, so if you're thinking about, for instance, a computer screen, that's what we've been talking about a lot lately, then you have a pixel here, or a shape if you want to think about it, you want to move it from here up to here. So in order to do that, you're, you're not rotating it, you're not scaling it bigger and smaller, you're just taking the object and you're moving it up here. So you've done enough math and physics to know that you can break any motion, even a diagonal motion, into an X component of movement and a Y component of movement. So when we do translation, what we're really saying is we're taking a point and we're moving it so many units in the X direction and we're also unit moving it so many units in the Y direction. So we want to figure out what kind of transformation matrix will do that. That's the final step in what we're trying to do here with, with, uh, with these transformation things. So the easiest way to talk about that would be just to kind of draw a simple example. I know we've kind of talked about it, but uh, sometimes drawing a picture is the best way to do things. So if here, here's the X direction and here is the Y direction, then we might have something like, uh, let me put some marks here, two, three, four, five. We'll just put some tick marks, one, two, three, four, five, like that. We might have a point at two comma one, so that's two comma one here, for instance. We might call that X, and that's at two comma one. That's this point right there, positive two, positive one. Then we might take that point, we might move it over here somewhere. Uh, let's say here, one, two, two, three, four, five. Let's do five comma one, two, three. So let's say we take that point here, and we say over here, it's uh, five comma three. So the original point is labeled X. The translated point is X prime. That means what, what it is after we've translated it. Right? And in this case, we're taking and shifting it diagonal, but that's the same as moving it over to the right and also moving it up. So here is the original point x at 2 comma 1. Here is the final point after we've moved it at 5 comma 3. What is the uh, movement here? In the x direction, we have moved it 1, 2, 3 units over. So if we count this here, just 1, 2, 3, this is a movement to the right of 3 units, and it's a movement to the up of two units because we've gone one, two, like that. So the X component of the movement is positive three, the Y component of the movement is positive two. So the right in X is positive and up in Y is positive, just like the axes are labeled there. So that makes perfect sense. There's nothing complicated or, or devious about any of that, but we want to figure out how to do it mathematically. The easiest way to do translation uh, mathematically in matrices, you can do it with adding with 